Robert Gates says NATO expansion changes the geopolitics of Europe in a dramatic way. Days after Finland and Sweden formally applied to join NATO, essentially ending decades of neutrality on the world stage, former U.S. Secretary of Defense Robert Gates called the development huge and a major defeat for Russian President Vladimir Putin. Putin's decision to invade Ukraine was partly driven by a desire to prevent the country from joining NATO, which would put the military alliance right at Russia's border. But last week's move by Finland and Sweden suggests that plan has backfired, Gates told Face the Nation Sunday. I think it changes the geopolitics in Europe in a dramatic way. Now he's got NATO on his doorstep, not only in Ukraine and elsewhere, Gates said, referring to Putin. He's going to have them on his border in Finland. And it's an amazing thing he's done because he's gotten Sweden to abandon 200 years of neutrality, Gates said. He's going to have them on his border in Finland. And it's an amazing thing he's done because he's gotten Sweden to abandon 200 years of neutrality. NATO's 30 member countries are now reviewing Sweden's and Finland's applications. If their bids are accepted, the two once neutral Nordic nations could become members within a few months. When the leaders of the two countries visited the White House last Thursday, President Biden offered his strong support for their applications. Gates, who served as Defense Secretary under Presidents George W. Bush and Barack Obama, said Putin's brutal invasion of Ukraine could continue to hurt Russia's economy and affect the country in other ways. He also doesn't believe Putin could win the war by taking over Ukraine and absorbing it into Russia, but he said Putin might still walk away with some strategic areas of eastern Ukraine. He has the potential to hold on to a good part of the Donbas. But I think in terms of pushing onto Odessa or trying to bring a change of government in Kiev or absorb Ukraine, I think if that's winning, I don't see that he can win, Gates said. His invasion has weakened Russia and it's got now long-term economic problems, Gates said. His invasion has weakened Russia and it's got now long-term economic problems. The former defense secretary expressed doubt that Putin's biggest ally, China, would do enough to rescue Russia's economy partly because it wouldn't want to become dependent on Russia for energy sources. China will want to remain diversified, Gates said. China will want to remain diversified. Asked if he believes Putin could resort to using a tactical nuclear weapon against Ukraine, Gates said it's unlikely. I think the probability of him using a tactical nuclear weapon is low, but not zero, he said. I think the probability of him using a tactical nuclear weapon is low, but not zero. Gates noted that a nuclear attack on Ukraine could possibly affect Russia's mainland as well. In that part of the world, and particularly in eastern Ukraine, the winds tend to blow from the west he said. In that part of the world, and particularly in eastern Ukraine, the winds tend to blow from the west, 